Yo, what is up guys? I am QGX Snips from the Quad Gaming Clan here with another Tricks and Tips Tuesday. So basically I just started this series to, you know, get back to the community and help people out that's having problems and whatnot. Um So yeah, so I'm just gonna like help out people who need help. It might not always be on my laptop doing a tricks and tip video. It might be um I might be on the game and or playing showing you some nice cool tricks on Destiny or something like that. It depends on whatever I feel like doing. So I'm trying to keep this series going like I'm going to do it every Tuesday. So I'm really trying to you know have new ideas and want to help everybody out. So if you're new to the channel please subscribe and leave a like. Every like help my channel out in a very big way and it just, just amazed that just recently hit 500 subscribers. Now enough of my rambling, I know y'all are here for to learn how to fix the little green screen problem you get when you try to import a video to Sony Vegas Pro 13 or 12 or 11, uh, I'm not sure about 12 or 11, but I got 13, 64 bit operating system. So what you want to do is just open up your Sony Vegas, I should be opening it up, but let's go quickly open it up. <laughs> Okay, so Sony Vegas Pro 13 is opened up, and let's get a video in here. So uh, let's let's get this video. We import it. So you want to edit a video or whatnot, and so you import it to the timeline. It's gonna say yes, and you get this problem. I don't know. You see that was that's move all the way down. So this problem is basically like making shit not work the way it's supposed to um see like all this right here is all blank like basically it just pretty much pause and in the video it's supposed to play through smoothly that's usually the problem you get with um sony vegas that's one thing that so makes sony vegas really hard to use but once you learn this today you won't have no problem with this green screen problem so what you really want to do is right click it, go to properties, and then go to general, and then scroll down. And so you want to go under plugins, and you want to see the name. So my name right here, you want to make sure you know your name. This um, this name is compound plug um, dot dll. So that's the plugin that's it's used for this. So you just want to make sure you memorize that plugin. So you want to press OK. You just want to close out of everything. Uh, let's close out of that. And what you want to do? You want to go to your Start menu. You want to go to your computer. You want to click on your computer or whatever PC you're using. You want to go to Program Files. You want to go to Sony. You want to go to this. And then you want to look for the file called File I/O Plugin. So you want to go into that. And then you want to look for the folder with your name that you had on the video. See right here, my just compound plug, um, right here. So what you want to do is right click it. Um, you want to rename. So you need permission from the administrator. So you want to just put an extra G or like an extra letter on the end to change out to put extra G. Um, and then bam. Yep. Boom. <laughs> you might think it's not that simple but yeah it's that simple so we should just close out that open up sony vegas once again open it up real quick open it up real quick okay so now we got it back open now we go back um into and import this video sure you get no problems as you see right here it's no longer freaking um it's no longer a blank freaking volume or or not it's just like right click it real quick just lag on you um i just like to disable or sampling you gotta do uh yeah so like if we go here it's it pretty much no playing through 
I mean, obviously, I'm not trying to play the video because it's to me a bunch of whack crap. And look right here, see the, the picture change. Because usually, right here is it's all stuck on one on one picture screen. It's not ever changing. It's just going to be a freaking lag and a bunch of bull crap. So yeah, so that's how you fix the green screen problem. It's only Vegas Pro 13 or below whatever you have. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this problem happens in the other Sony Vegas. I think I had that problem. So yeah, so if you like the video and this video helped you out a lot, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you, Jake Smith. And I'm out.